Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video I'm going to be discussing how to unclog your toilet in a couple different ways. You're probably watching a bunch of different videos, so I'm going to make this pretty simple for you here. One way if you do not have a plunger or a snake or also called an angular, toilet angular type of an object like this. We'll get to that one in just a second here. You have some dishwashing soap. Pick it up at the dollar store. Real simple. What you're going to do here is I do have a clog right now, but I'm going to save you just literally nastiness. I'll open up that in just a second here, but I don't want to talk in the whole video with a nasty toilet. So what you do when a clog does happen, you squirt the dishwashing soap into the toilet water. It'll then seep down towards the bottom of the toilet. Then you take a bucket full of hot water, sink water, kitchen sink water, not boiling hot. I again repeat, do not use boiling hot water. You could potentially crack your toilet. Use hot water from the sink or kitchen. It should be steaming not like crazy, crazy hot, but like, you know, we're talking a hot, hot, hot shower type of hot water. So what you do then is you pour that in after the dishwashing soap and that will actually lubricate the toilet so it's a little bit more slippery. And then you wait until the water level goes down. If it doesn't work, then you do it all over again. And then once the level goes down, because you'll notice that once a clog does happen, you wait a few hours and it'll actually go down very, very slowly. So you don't want to be adding a bunch of water and obviously overflowing your toilet. Okay, the next one obviously is the most simplest. And for a good one at like Target or whatever, you're going to pay a little bit of money for it. It is an investment, but these work fantastically. The only reason why I'm having this trouble and even making this video is because this particular clog on these new toilets, these eco-friendly toilets, they're so small. This plunger did not work. I was trying to do it this way right here. Unfortunately, I think the clog is actually pretty bad. So we're gonna be going with the angular or also called a snake. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that one here. But obviously with a plunger, once the water level goes down a little bit or if it's high, you just kind of seep it in there like that. Plunge away, get some air in there, bop, 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 bop. It'll go down. This technique takes a little bit of time, but if you're stuck two o'clock in the morning, you don't feel like going out to the store, that might be a decent option for you here. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the snake angular and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Forgive it, it's just absolutely nastiness. So you can either listen to my voice and click on another tab, but this is absolutely disgusting. So let me go ahead and back it up here a little bit. And it literally looks like a bomb went off in the toilet, so forgive me there. That was not me. <laughs> I will save the embarrassment for who it was. I think it might have been a construction worker while we were out of the house. So what we're going to do here, guys, is we went over to the good old Home Depot. Again, I'll link some of this stuff below. If you guys are not close to a store, just get it on Amazon. They'll ship it to your house. Obviously, you want to probably improve your toilet within a couple minutes here. So this is very easy. This is how the angular comes from the store here. You got a little turn knob right up here. And then, of course, the metal right down here. So what you do here before you get started, all you do is just pull that back until this now looks like this on the end. And this is obviously all the way down like this, very simple. So you wanna be careful not to scratch your porcelain toilet with this end right here. So you're gonna carefully insert this into the bottom of the toilet and it's gonna go in and up. So what you're gonna do here, guys, is come on in here. Let me show you. You're gonna very carefully, again, insert it in your toilet without scratching. And then you're gonna just literally put that bad boy up, up and away. And so the plastic is on the bottom, okay? And then what you wanna do, and now if you're scratching the pipe up there, it doesn't really matter. So right now, it's literally, the plastic is shooting upwards like this. Now we take this right here, and it might take you a few times to kind of jam it in there a little bit and kind of get situated, but you might start seeing some stuff come up. And then what you want to do is you just kind of want to work that up there a little bit. And what it's going to do, it's going to go up and snake around the pipes of the toilet to be able to free whatever is clogged back there. Again, it might take you a little bit of working. See right there how it kind of I jammed it up there. Now anybody can do it. It just might get stuck for a little bit and then you keep jamming. See now how it's this right here is going down. So I'm gonna keep going. So right now it's free and it's actually kind of winding its way down there. And so now we are all the way right here, okay? So now what you wanna do when you get to this point here, you wanna go ahead and crank it like that. Okay, what that's doing is that whatever's clogged in there, toilet paper, whatever it might be, 
a GI Joe, who knows what your kids throw in there. And then you can come the opposite direction here. Again, kind of counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and pull it on back here. Oh my gosh, did I throw up? Oh like my that. God. Okay. So now it's all good. Oh. And again, be very, very careful. I'm throw up. So now, again, on this part, guys, be careful. Oh, nasty. Whoops. <laughs> okay, once this is all the way back again, you might want to wear gloves, guys, because this will be wet right here, and that is literally poop, so you want to be a little careful of that. This part is okay right here, the plastic part. Now, once it's all the way down again, just back it out carefully here, and just make sure that you do not scratch, obviously, your porcelain, okay? Right there like that. Now, if it doesn't clog, obviously, this water is pretty low already here, so we're going to go ahead and give it a test flush. If it does, if it's still clogged, we'll go ahead and do it again. So let's go ahead and do a test flush here. Okay, it looks like it is still clogged. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it again. Okay, so whatever is in there, it's deep and it's nasty, okay? So let's go ahead and do it again here. Same exact thing, we'll be right back with you. I probably wanna say some of that dish soap did help from earlier today because it looks like it is nice and lubricated and very, very good. Now, all the water has gone down. It actually took, no joke, about five minutes after my second try. And after I pulled it back up, the water was still up there. I was pondering on, does this thing even work? And then it was almost like, I think, again, the combination of that soap right there just sent that clog straight down. Whatever that was, no joke. I'm 34 years old, and that's the worst clog I've ever experienced. So plunger doesn't work. Try some soap, hot water. If that doesn't work, grab yourself an angular snake. That thing was only about 10 bucks, I think, after tax. I'll link everything in the description box below the video. Now we're looking real strong now. Let's make sure we're legitimate before we start congratulating ourselves here. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. And we should. Beautiful. That, my friends, is a working toilet again. <laughs> Now we're just going to have to clean it. Sweet. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Check it out. Look in the description box below. Have a great night. Bye-bye.